Hi guys, welcome back. You might have seen a red colored volcano or a beautiful blue colored waterfall, but have you ever seen a blue colored volcano or a blood red waterfall? If you want to get to know about such interesting phenomena that happen on the earth, then do keep watching this video till the end. Number 7 come the frozen bubbles in Canada. It is common to see frozen lakes but have you ever seen frozen bubbles appearing to hang in suspended animation below the surface of frozen lakes methane bubbles are a curious sight frozen methane bubbles can be seen in many lakes around the world with one of the best known places being lake abraham in alberta canada abraham lakes frozen bubbles are caused when plants and tree limbs on the bottom of the lake start decaying during this process methane gas is released creating bubbles in the water and these bubbles get frozen frozen bubbles are usually found in january and february in lake abraham tourists come from far away places to experience this rare sight Next on the list comes the desert roses. Deserts are usually known for its sand dunes, animals like camel and plants like cactus. But there is a strange phenomena that happens in deserts. That is the formation of a desert rose. Desert rose is the colloquial name given to rose-like formation of crystal clusters of gypsum or barite which include abundant sand grains a gypsum rosette is not a rose at all it is a mineral which crystallizes in a unique rosette growth pattern the largest recorded desert rose was 17 inches across and 10 inches high weighing 125 pounds cluster of rose rocks which measure up to 39 inches in height and who weigh more than 1000 pounds have also been found at number 5 come the lenticular cloud they are technically known as the altocumulus standing lenticularis they are stationary lens shaped clouds that form at high altitudes normally aligned at right angles to the wind direction where stable moist air flows over a mountain or a range of mountains a series of large scale standing waves may form on the downside lenticular clouds sometimes form at the crests of these waves under certain conditions long strings of lenticular clouds can form creating a formation known as a wave cloud power pilots tend to avoid flying near lenticular cloud because of the turbulence of the rotor systems that accompany them but sailplane pilots actively seek them out lenticular clouds have been said to be mistaken for ufo's as many of these clouds have the shape of a flying saucer at number 4 comes the catatumbo lightning in venezuela It is an atmospheric phenomena that occurs over the mouth of the Catatumbo River where it empties into Lake Maracaibo in Venezuela. Catatumbo means house of thunder in the language of the Bari people. When water droplets of humid air collide with ice crystals from the cold air, it produces static charges that build up. the release of the charges a zigzag of electrical energy strong enough to light 100 million bulbs it is a phenomena of continuous lightning for over 9 hours a day 28 times a minute and 300 days a year nobody knows for certain why is the intensity and frequency of this lightning so high this phenomena has been occurring since centuries now come the fairy circles they are circular patches of land barren of plants varying between 2 and 15 meters in diameter often encircled by a ring of stimulated growth of grass until 
the phenomena was only known to occur in the arid grasslands of the Namib Desert in the western parts of southern Africa, being particularly common in Namibia. In that year, ecologists were alerted to similar circles outside Africa in a part of Pilbara in western Australia. Fairy circles typically occur in essentially monospecific grassy vegetation where conditions are particularly arid. Studies show that these circles pass through a life cycle of some 30 to 60 years. They become noticeable at a diameter of about 2 meters, achieving a peak diameter of perhaps 12 meters, after which they mature and die as they undergo invasion mainly by grasses. There has long been debate about the cause of the circles. The investigations and development of theories have included numerous theories, both mundane and supernatural. One favored assumption is that the sand termites are responsible, but the range of the phenomena is much more than that of the termite species. The Himba people note that their original ancestor Mukuru was responsible for the creation of the fairy circles or that they were the footprints of God. Another myth put forth promoted by some tour guides is that the circles found by a dragon in the earth and that its poisonous breath kills the vegetation. Till date, the exact cause of these fairy circles is not known. Now come the blood falls located in Antarctica. When water from the subglacial lake seeps through a fissure in the glacier, the salty water cascades down the Taylor Glacier into Lake Boney below. When the iron-rich water comes into contact with the air, it rusts depositing blood-red stains on the ice as it falls. The reddish deposit was found in 1911 by the Australian geologist Griffith Taylor, who first explored the valley that bears his name. The Antarctica pioneers first attributed the red color to red algae, but later it was proven to be due to iron oxide. Next comes the one which you all have been waiting for right from the beginning of this video. The Blue Volcano of Indonesia. Its actual name is the Ijen Volcano. The complex is a group of composite volcanoes located on the border between Banyuwangi Regency and the Bondowoso Regency of East Java. It is known for its blue fire, acidic crater lake and labor intensive sulfur mining. The blue fire is burnt sulfuric gas which emerges from cracks at temperatures up to 600 degrees Celsius. The flames can be up to 5 meters high. Some of the gas condenses to liquid and is still ignited. Since National Geographic mentioned the electric blue flames of Ijin, tourist numbers have increased. The phenomena has long been known, but midnight hiking tours are a more recent offering. If you have enjoyed watching this video, then do give it a like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more such interesting videos.